merging agriculture, fashion and design. And when most of us think of wool, we think of bales of wool, we think of sheep, we think of farms. We never quite put the fashion aspect onto it. And um, just before I came here, I was across the road where there is a big exhibition, what fashion is about and what you can actually get from wool. And I was looking at wedding dresses, I was looking at shoes, all made out of wool. And we don't always make this connection when we think about wool. Yo, can you hear that guy? He's noisy. I really think he wants to be on TV. Maybe we'll get to him later. But first, Evan, let's have a chat. Um, I know we spoke to him a, a, few, a week or two ago, just before National Wool Week. Um, Cape Wool's CEO, Louis de Beer. Louis, um, wow. So National Wool Week is upon us. Um, your aim with Wool Week, what, what, what kind of things are you trying to merge? I know it's not just about sheep and farms. No, it's not just about sheep and farms. You know, we, we have to try to to explain to the public um, what the contents of their garments are that they actually buy. Uh, we'd like to educate them on, on wool, on wool sheep farming, on the wool industry, but, but most of all on, on, on the actual fabric and, and the, the origin of what they wear. Louis, if we, if we look at um, South African sheep, predominantly what breed of sheep is South Africa notor notorious for? Um, for merino sheep and uh, very good, very good breed to use for apparel wool. Yeah. And our wool is, is held in quite high esteem. What is the reason for this? Well, I think firstly, uh, the merino breed um, has been refined within South Africa, and we have we have very good genetics in South Africa. Secondly, our classing is is of a particularly high uh, standard. And then, of course, uh, there's no musing that happens in South Africa. When you talk about classing, for our viewer, just explain basically what it is. Uh, the, the, the long and the short is, um, once you've shorn a sheep, you throw the fleece, and the fleece has to be sorted in different categories of class. And, and um, it's basically just sorting it into, into uniform classes. If we look at world production, um, what does South Africa contribute? Well, in the, in the apparel segment, we contribute about 18% of world production. Uh, we do 50 million kilograms a year at this stage of the game, and, uh, and, and hopefully 75 million in future. Do we, I believe, um, some issues in Australia which is favourable for South Africa. Can you talk us through that? Um, I think two things happen in, in, in Australia, or two things are happening in Australia at the moment. The one is um, the, the drought that they're experiencing. Uh, they've had a decline in production, and that's, that's a little bit to our benefit because we can fill the market gap. And, uh, and, and, and secondly, you have, you have a move to dairy. Um, as well, which is also reducing production. So they are, they have lost a bit of production and, and we hope to fill that market gap. You mentioned drought. Um, South Africa's had some of its own. Um, how does that affect the, the wool market? Yeah, we have, we have had a drought and it does affect wool. It does affect the quality of wool. Um, it also, it also, it's also an opportunity within a drought because it supports the farmers specifically with their cash flow. Uh, we are expecting the clip to be a little bit lighter this year. And we are expecting a slight, slight, ever so slight decline in, in, in quality. But so far we've been, we've been fairly consistent in our deliveries and, and we're actually quite happy with our deliveries at the moment. Uh, yeah. Will prices, the exchange rate, how's that looking? Look, I mean, we're an export commodity, so the, the, uh, the exchange rate depreciation just, it's, it's wonderful for us, especially for the, for the, for the local producers. Um, obviously, as a community, it's not a good thing, um, but, but we do benefit. And, and in dollar terms, the price of wool has been holding up nicely, and it's, uh, it's, it's on the increase going forward, yeah. Now, National Wool Week here, Louis, we've, um, th there's a lot of stuff happening. Um, for the viewer out there and people maybe in Nelson Mandela Bay who want to pop down, it's quite an interactive week, isn't it? Look, we, we, we're trying, we are actually combining retail, a retail display, with an agricultural component, with a product component as well. So there's a lot to see, there's a lot to do. Um, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to come and have a look at a sheep being shorn. That's not something that people see very often. It's also a wonderful opportunity to come and look at, uh, at, at Geis and his dogs, which you hear in the background at the moment, um, shepherding, shepherding sheep, which is also something that, that you don't see very regularly. So it, it's quite a unique event. It's a first. It's a first for us. And, and you know, we'll enjoy the support from the PE community. Yeah. Now, just finally, I believe that men in the industry have the softest hands. Can you tell us why? <laughs> They do actually. Um, it's because they work with lanolin all the time. So uh, I read a piece once that said that the only thing that the Australians had in common, the Australian shearers, 
They were from all walks of life, but they all had soft hands. And it's exactly the same in South Africa. Let's leave it on that. So now you know, um, you're looking for a man with soft hands, find a sheep farmer or a sheep shearer. Um, but we're going to be crossing a little later. Also, you've been in our, just after 12 o'clock. Um, they're going to, I'm going to see if I can track down one of our world-class classes. And hopefully she'll be able to explain to us just how it works that South African will... Um, when you buy something of quality, you, you get a whole big bale full of quality. Uh, I'm sure you heard that sheep in the background. He was hell-bent on getting on air. We didn't see him, but you can <laughs> hear him. But a lot happening here in Nelson Mandela Bay and um, a, good week, a good week for Port Elizabeth, Evan. I thought you were going to speak to the sheep, that one that so rudely interrupted you there for a minute, Dilly, uh, uh, Janine. But we're not going to make any sheep jokes. We're going to keep it above the belt today. Thank you for joining us. And... And, and all the best at Wool Week. We'll, we'll, we'll be back with you later in the day. Janine Lee always does the nicest story.